shotgun with us, Chris Burgard, amazing filmmaker. I remember his film, Border, really woke up a lot of people. And this using kids has been going on a while. And again, they're just the front. Uh, border crossings across the border just exploding. And they're legalizing criminals. They're legalizing violent felons and turning them loose. So the kids is just the big front, ladies and gentlemen. Zach Taylor's coming up, chairman of border security expert of the National Association of Former Border Patrol Officers that warned of the asymmetrical warfare, and our guest will ride shotgun with us. We're going to go back to our guest here in a moment, but first I wanted to read to you a few comments in the story about Obama signing an executive order to lock up anybody that's got a cough, basically. And uh, one of the commenters said, you can punch up my screen if you want, if you are homeless, you get detained. If you have a cough, you get detained. If you let your kid play in the park, you get detained. Do you see what this is going? And they, he goes on to say, we have no rights. But Bob Smith says, but if you're an illegal alien, you don't get detained. And the next guy says, no, you do get detained in a luxury resort and then free airfare to the destination, your chosen destination. And then you get a driver's license, you get to vote, you get free welfare. I mean, this is just totally insane. Uh, going back again to the filmmaker, sir, this is only like a five, six minute segment, so I want you to have the floor and break it down. How much worse is the border now than it was? I mean, clearly it's basically not there from what we've seen. And, and then what comes next? Because if this flood is already huge and then they're advertising, come here, everything's free, it'll bring an even bigger flood. I mean, how, how bad do you think this will get? And what do you think the master plan by Obama and the Ford Foundation is? Well, let me speak to what I know. Yeah, you know, I was in Honduras during the regime change. I was down there filming, and I've, I've had experience with, with folks that are down there in the casinos. As long as they think this surge is going to keep continuing as long as they think they can get here, and as long as their relatives are coming north and they're staying north, and until you see a C-130 landing in downtown Tegusa Airport with uh, – folks being reunited with the countrymen, they're going to keep coming north. So this is going to be here for a while. It's, let me tell you what I can speak to facts, what I filmed over the last nine years. There is a concerted effort that billions of dollars are spent to control, to, to create the illusion of border security instead of actually securing the border. And there's been an, an effort that I've experienced firsthand to keep America from knowing who's coming across the border when they when they actually know. Let, let me go back to a couple of years ago. Let's go back to how furious Texas. Um, when friends of mine were getting Chinese nationals apprehended on their ranches, I go to Border Patrol under President Obama and I say, can you tell me how many Chinese apprehensions you're getting down here? And they're like, sir, we can only tell you the total number of apprehensions in the top five countries of origin. China's not in that, so we can't speak to you anything about Chinese nationals. However, on those same ranchers, ranches, our U.S. government has built rescue stations with, with, with languages in English, Spanish, and Mandarin. So the entire time they're keeping guys like me from bringing the truth to America, they're spending money to deal with what's coming over. And it's, it's not just Chinese. On the Vickers Ranch, they had a coyote scout that dropped an Urdu dictionary. He's bringing a group of 12 across. The group of 12 got in. Now, he's not, he doesn't have an Urdu dictionary to deal with folks that speak English. These are folks that are coming from either Pakistan or Afghanistan, and they're getting into the country, and it's happening on a regular basis. So what's the next step? I, I, I hope it's not a terrorist attack inside our borders for somebody that came from across the border, but it's not just folks coming from Mexico looking for work. That's what they want you to believe, but that's not what's going on. And so you, my question is, why does the Obama administration do this? Clearly, they don't want America to know what's going on on the border, because if they knew how many people are dying down there, if they knew how horribly they're dying, if they knew that Americans, their fellow Americans, can't even go feed their horses without taking a semi-automatic rifle with them, that ranch wives aren't safe on their ranch unless they're surrounded by protection, America wouldn't put up with it. No one would be talking immigration if they knew how insecure the border is. Well, that's Americans right. Or if they lived in Texas or they'd been to Mexico lately. I mean, Mexico is scary. It is a failed road warrior hell state in the north, especially in the central areas and and they just have no idea they're so gullible americans what?
just just have no idea. I want to I want to come back, sir, with you and the senior board patrol guy to break down what this asymmetrical warfare spells and what the next shoe to drop is. Stay with us, Infowars.com. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking a hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed. To do. If you watch, the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago and I must say that was good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO or Organic Super Male Vitality Formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. Renewed hostile actions against United States ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin have today required me to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Senator Kennedy has been shot. Is that possible? He still has the gun. The gun is pointed at me right at this moment. Take a hold of this bomb and break it if you have to. <laughs> People calling themselves members of the Weather Underground last night planted bombs in federal office buildings in Washington and Oakland, California. They took the babies out of incubators and left the children to die on the cold floor. Survivors of the USS Liberty are demanding a congressional investigation into what happened and acknowledgement that the Israeli Air Force bombed a U.S. intelligence Navy ship. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat al-Qaeda. The Taliban is taking responsibility for shooting down a U.S. helicopter. More than 30 people were killed, and there are reports this morning that most of them are U.S. Navy SEALs. There may be a false flag incident where some uh, ship goes down and you be used for the excuse to accelerate the next war. If there's one thing that has unified Democrats and Republicans, and everybody in between, is that we all hated the bank bailout. 
The Department of Homeland Security is apparently on a huge ammo buying spree. It comes out to like 1.6 billion rounds of ammunition. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. They estimated that they would have to eliminate 25 million people in these re-education centers. And when I say eliminate, I mean kill. I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on the air almost 20 years. In, in, in two months, it'll, it'll be 20 years. 20 years. And I have never seen anything that even approaches what is happening with the border effectively being gone. And you've seen senior Border Patrol people. We've played the clips. We've had them on the show. The head of the Border Patrol Union, the former head, the deputy head, the head of one of the big retiree groups, other senior current members. They've had gag orders saying, we complete the smuggling process. This is an end of the border. This is by fiat legalization. Now Obama's basically stopped deportations. Now they're legalizing felons, letting them go. The kids are the front. The kids are the PR front to make us feel sad and bad. Just like in pro open border movies like Elysium, it's all about the kids. They know Americans have big hearts. No country has borders this open. No country has welfare like this. You can't go to any country and have your baby and have it all paid for like here. But we're told we're the worst all day. And MSNBC with the White House talking point says you're racist if you don't want totally open borders. It's not like we border Switzerland or Japan. First world wealthy countries. We border one of the most dangerous countries in the world only after Guatemala. It's arguably more dangerous. 130,000 dead in seven years we know about. Failed state, State Department warnings, do not travel anywhere in Mexico. Five years running, you never see that in the news. I went to Mexico four years ago, southern Mexico, in a resort area. They had troops pulling over the tour bus with guns stealing the money off the bus driver and bugging their eyes out at the passengers, the army. Mexico is a failed hell. My uncle was down there doing work. My cousin was born there. He saw cars shot off the road. His brother was kidnapped. They were at the market. A hand grenade went off and, and actually hit some of his family, and they left Guatemala. Okay, this isn't a game. 35 million people in Mexico City, half of them live in cardboard boxes. And I feel for them, but we can't help them with a bankrupt country with them being signed up for socialism. This is the end game. This is asymmetrical warfare. And Zach Taylor did the best breakdown of it I've seen. And for the rest of the hour, he'll ride shotgun with us with Chris Burgard, the award-winning documentary filmmaker of Border. He's now making the new documentary, Nine Years of Work, back to the border.com. And we've already played the clip of Zach Taylor warning of our government standing down for the asymmetrical warfare. And his last film had a really big effect and helped expose the fact that it was premeditated, the collapse of the border, and, and hopefully this new one will do that. But we're joined by Zach Taylor, who heads up the NAFBPO.org. He's the chairman and border security expert of the National Association of Former Border Patrol Officers, and he's a retired senior Border Patrol agent supervisor of 26 years. And he's produced with his experts the Comprehensive Immigration Enforcement and Reform and delivered it to Congress. And it contains the real conclusions and recommendations developed over several millennia of experience in all factions of immigration enforcement and services. So worldwide historical knowledge. The bigger issue here is it shows this whole Homeland Security thing's a fraud pointed at the Tea Party, arresting people because their 10-year-old went and played in the park, checkpoints on highways randomly for no reason but to train us to be slaves, the TSA lets the illegals through. That's confirmed. I've witnessed it, but it's confirmed. This is so creepy and so epic. So, Zach Taylor, we salute your, your patriotism, your tireless work to warn people. But I, this really shakes me to my core because I know we've always had corrupt people in government at certain levels. But this 
is beyond believable. It's happening. It's surreal. It's the takedown of the country. Zach Taylor, I want you to.